Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're going to be doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 3. Today I'm going to be showing how to use the dislocator to create a portal. Um, this requires a little bit of components that are a little bit further along in the game, um, but still something that uh, is very useful once you have the components you need to make it. So we're going to jump in there. Uh, a couple things we're going to need. Uh, we're going to start off by making an Eye of Ender. And an Eye of Ender is a single Ender Pearl and a Blaze Powder. All right. Uh, that Eye of Ender is a component we're going to need to make our actual dislocator. That goes in the center, surrounded by four pieces of Draconium Dust and four Blaze Powder. Gives us our dislocator. Next, we're going to need to make a Draconic Core. A Draconic Core is going to be a single piece of diamond with four gold ingot and four Draconium ingot. Now we're also going to need Draconium infused obsidian. And this you're going to need more than a single piece of. We need a bunch of these. Uh, but it's a single piece of Draconium dust in the center with four pieces of obsidian and four blaze powder. All right. Now we're going to take one of those draconium infused obsidians we made and the draconic core and add that to four iron ingots and that's going to give us our dislocator receptacle. So when this is all said and done we're going to have one receptacle, we're going to have one dislocator, and the amount of draconium infused obsidian you're going to need is just going to be based on the size of the portal you want to make. So let's go ahead and grab our components to get started. Again, a single dislocator, some draconium infused obsidian, and some dislocator receptacles. Again, we're only going to need one of those. So we're going to go over here. I'm doing this in creative just to show you how to put it together. But today we're going to be doing our portal itself in a 5x5. Five five. Yeah, it would help if I could count, but we're going to do a 5x5. Five five. So um, you can, again, can make it larger if you'd like. You just need to leave one space open on the portal for your receptacle. Okay. Now, as you can see right now, the portal, nothing's happening. It's just a hole. You jump through there, you're just going to fall in die. So we have to first use our actual dislocator. Now, the dislocator is what determines where that portal is going to take us. I'm going to do it right here on our dirt block. This is where the world started for you. In here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift, right click. And as you can see down there, it shows that our teleporter is bound to the coordinates that I'm currently at here in the overworld. Okay. Now that we have that, we're going to take it back over to our dislocator receptacle and we're going to right click. And now we have an active portal. It's all cool and spacey looking. All right. And that is all that's required to make the actual portal. Now you step in boop, and here we are over at the dirt block where we centered our dislocator. Again, show you again. And this will be for any person. Uh, so character, mob, item, anything that goes through here appears here. And this is a basic component you're going to need in, in many different types of uh, mob spawners, especially um, wither farms. Um, so this is definitely something that you're going to want to be able to put together. Um, but the best part of this portal is not only is it really relatively simple once you have the components, but it will actually work between different worlds. So, for example, I've gone ahead and made ourselves a portal over here to the nether. We're going to pop through there. Okay. And as you can see, I've already gone through here and I've made another portal. So I've got a portal here in the nether. You be quiet. Go away. Go away. Okay. So we have a portal here in the nether and I've already linked this to back on the regular overworld. So when I jump in this portal, boop, I'm right back here where I created, this is where I, this block here is where I centered my dislocator. This will allow you to have portals to bounce between worlds without having to use, you know, cakes and portals or no gas blowing that up. Um, so it's a great way to bounce between here, uh, the end, so on and so forth. Uh, definitely a great thing to be able to make, um, but relatively simple once you get it up and running. And that is all that is involved with using a dislocator and creating a portal. 
Um, again, I'm going to be using this a little bit later to show you how to build an automated wither farm. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, be sure to put them down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to click like and subscribe to see all of my tutorials and video game content that I post. Um, links to my social media and my websites are down in the description. Uh, so thank you very much for tuning along. If there's a video that you'd like to see, throw that down in the comments as well. Uh, I'd be happy to see if I can put together a tutorial to help you out with whatever it is you're struggling with. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.